Hey, Titan Nation, Mr. Jebson here. Uh, we have some exciting things going on next week, uh, a little bit out of the norm for what we're used to, and so I just want to make sure that everybody um, has a just clear understanding of what's going on. I want to communicate that to parents and students. So here we go. On Wednesday of next week, our ninth graders will be doing map testing. Ninth graders, we test you at the beginning, middle, and end of each year on map, and that lets us see your uh, language use skills, your reading skills, and your math skills, see how you're growing, where you might not be growing as fast, and what we need to plan on for next year. So that's how most of your day is going to go for the ninth graders. If you're an at-home student, you will take the MAP test at home, just like we've done all year for our at-home students on MAP. Tenth graders, were you listening when I said anything to the ninth graders a second ago? That's you guys too. You guys will also have MAP testing for the same reasons, same deal. If you're an at-school student, you'll take that test or those tests at school. And if you're an at-home student, you'll take those tests at home. Pretty easy. 11th grade, it gets a little bit more interesting. We're actually going to allow any 11th grader that's passing all of their classes to do a job shadowing day if they want to. Not required, um, but it is an option, and it is a pretty cool option because kind of as you're in this end of 11th grade thinking forward about college career and what you might want to do, it gives you an opportunity to go see what an actual job is. This could be um, friends, community member, relative, somebody you know, someplace you know, but um, we'll, we'll pass that information in advisory and give you a chance to sign up to go out into a work site for that day to learn uh, about that job. If you are failing any classes, you are going to be required to be at school where we will have teachers from basically every area available that will be working with those juniors on a personalized learning day. And you guys will dive deep into boosting those grades because if you're not passing junior year, it's going to be really hard to graduate a year from now. So... Uh, we need to make sure you're passing classes. If you are a junior that would rather do personalized learning but is not failing, that's okay. You can come to school that day. Um, a good way to guarantee you come to school that day is to not turn in the permission slips ahead of time. If you do want to participate in the Job Shadow Project, strongly recommend you get that permission slip turned in on time, friends. Um, seniors. Um, so you guys are going to be working on graduation defenses. This is an opportunity for you to finalize anything that needs to be finalized, to practice in front of your peers, to practice in front of your advisor. And so seniors are going to have a lot of work on defense prep. Um, also have the opportunity to do some personalized learning as well. And that could be some work time. That could be some tutoring time as needed. That's all on Wednesday the 21st. On Friday the 23rd, we're not going to have our normal personalized learning Friday like we've had. On Friday, April the 23rd, is going to be, we're calling it Defense of Palooza. Uh, Defense of Palooza. Defense of Palooza. This is our, a big part of our senior year is uh, demonstrating that we are ready for life. Um, not just that we can pass a college readiness test or a career readiness test. Um, yes, you've got your credits, but we really want to see that you are life ready. Um, I'm talking more to the underclassmen because seniors, you've heard us talk about this. Um, show us that you can demonstrate the competencies on the Shelby County profile of a graduate, that you really have those skills ready to take you out, whether to college or a career. Our seniors that have not already defended will be scheduled to defend on Friday, April the 23rd. And so instead of having students come in to get extra help like they normally would, that's going to be um, online planned ahead and work time for anybody, including students that are failing. They'll have that Friday the 23rd to work from home. Hey, if you're one that's been struggling, maybe that's a chance to prove to us, to us that you can do that. Meanwhile, we're going to be working with seniors on their senior defenses on Friday the 23rd. April the 24th, that Saturday is prom. Um, we are going to have a beautiful evening right here in the MLCHS courtyard. If you can imagine, uh, evening, beautiful evening out here, lights strung up between the poles, uh, games, music. I understand there will be no dancing, but it's nice, a little ambiance music, huh? And uh, we're going to have food trucks in our courtyard. I think four options to choose from, several dinner options and dessert. Um, just games, good time to hang out with your friends. And it should be a beautiful evening. Tickets are on sale now in room 305 with Miss Miller. Really want to encourage you guys to come. This is your chance to do it. Uh, you are allowed a plus one if you're a student, but if you want to bring someone that is not a Collins student, 
um, or even if it is a former Collins student, you need to uh, get an application in the front office and get those turned in as soon as possible. Those tickets are on sale in Miss Miller's room and you do get um, the whole evening covered with that ticket and a commemorative t-shirt. So make sure you see Miss Miller and get a prom ticket. If you have any questions or concerns about anything at Collins, but in particular about what we have going on next week, uh, shoot me an email at nate.jebson.all that other stuff. Can't wait to hear from you. Go Titans!